Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no, oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. We're here with another edition of Zips Weekly. I'm Scott Nixon. Today we are getting to know men's basketball player Noah Robotham. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. This should be a fun one. So Noah, what's your major here at the University of Akron? Uh, I'm studying marketing management. And uh, what do you plan to do on with that after you graduate? Uh, I think the business is a, is a broad major. I think there's uh, many endeavors that I could get into. So uh, just kind of keeping my my uh, options open and uh, just taking uh, my major as far as it goes so we'll see I like that answer do you have a favorite class at the moment anything like that uh, my favorite class right now is international business that's my favorite class easily business man good to know I'll keep you in my back pocket for the yeah. future all right if you could have any animal what would it be and why I would have I would want something like a zebra something exotic um, That's what I'm talking about. Maybe a tiger, you know, Mike Tyson like, but uh, th those probably be my two animals. I could pick one, a zebra or a tiger, just something exotic that is kind of rare, obviously. I'm with you on that. Now, who's the funniest on the team, guaranteed to make anyone laugh? It would be a tie, a three way tie between Jamon, Craig, and Aaron. I was about to say, Aaron Jackson, I feel like, has to be in the top at least of that list. He's, he's provided me a couple good laughs. And then, do you have a favorite social media account of anything that you like? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? Uh, let's go uh, with the, the Zips men's basketball page. I think that's at ZipsMBB. So if you, and you guys want to be in touch with the Zips basketball, just follow that Twitter account and you know, they'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on with the team, behind the scenes stuff, where we're traveling, when our games are, et cetera. Smooth plug-in right there. That was real nice. I really like that. And uh, finally, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just check out these week's highlights. Akron Zips football hosted the Toledo Rockets. Akron fell to Toledo 48-17. Jerome Lane finished with six catches for 177 yards and one score. And wide receiver JoJo Natson added three grabs for 44 yards and a touchdown. The Zips return to action November 9th for senior night as they host the Bowling Green Falcons. Nationally ranked Zips men's soccer played Grand Canyon for the first time ever in program history. The Zips knocked off the Lopes 3-2 in double overtime. Jonathan Lewis scored the first goal and Stuart holt Houston scored the second and third in the victory. The Zips then played their final game of the regular season hosting Western Michigan University. The Zips topped the Broncos 3-0. Stuart holt Houston scored two goals for the second consecutive game and Izana Kase added another in route to winning their 12th straight Mid-American Conference title. Akron will host the MAC tournament this upcoming weekend. Akron women's basketball had their only exhibition game of the season as they took on Walsh University. The Zips defeated the Cavaliers 81-70. Senior Hannah Plyben finished with a team-high 18 points and 7 rebounds. Megan Sefcek added 14 points and was 4 of 5 from downtown. Greta Burry added 11 points apiece in the victory. The Zips open up the regular season November 12th as they take on Malone. Number 18 Akron Rifle went to Lexington, Kentucky to take on the number 4 Kentucky Wildcats and the number 8 Nebraska Cornhuskers. Friday, the Zips fell to the Wildcats by 90 points. Zach Stroll was tops in small bore and air rifle for Akron. The next day, the Zips dropped a close one to Nebraska, losing just by 30 points. Connor O'Mara finished 4th in small bore and tied 5th for air rifle. Next up for Akron is the Zippy Open. Akron Volleyball traveled to Buffalo where they won a thriller in five sets. Five players for the blue and gold recorded double-digit kills, led by junior Jessica Klain, who finished with 16. Patience Brown, Elia Karsner, and Kayla Vouge each added 14, and Carly Kusan finished with 56 assists. The Zips then went to Ball State to face the Cardinals where they fell in three sets. Elia Karstner finished with a match-high 12 kills, and Brenna Mack contributed 20 digs. The Zips' next match is on the road against Miami. 
Akron Swimming and Diving made their first road trip of the season when they went to Buffalo, where the Bulls edged the zips. Luca Chanel f- took first place in the 100 and 200 meter backstroke, and Paloma Marrero finished first in the 100 and 200 meter breaststroke. Sophomore Sadie Fazikas took home first in the 100 meter butterfly. Akron competes next in the Magnus Cup Invitational. Zips Tennis at the Youngstown State Invitational. Junior Waverly Watuski won the consolation final in Flight B singles, and sophomore Carla Flores placed second overall in the Flight C singles action. Freshman Rita Pedroso was 6-2 and two over the weekend, while finishing third in Flight A singles competition. The Zips get back into action January 14th as they go to Northwestern University. This week's Student Athlete of the Week, presented by the University of Akron, is men's soccer player Stuart Holthusen. Holthusen was named National Player of the Week by College Soccer News after scoring four goals in two games.